Taste Test Tuesday. One of those days I don't mind that Candace is on maternity leave. <laughs> uh, good to see you. We've got Mike with the Virginia Marine Council. Marine Products Board. Marine Products Board. Yes. And you're promoting Virginia Seafood. But before we talk about that, let's let's get started here with our chef, Wynn. Good to see you. This is Wynn Goodyear. You have, you're have a chef and you have a store out in Gloucester. Yeah, I'm in Gloucester. It's an old general store that opened in 1868 and has never closed. And one of the things they didn't sell in 1868 was blue catfish. It yep. was not here. It is not native to Virginia. And you're here to talk about why we should eat as much blue catfish as we can catch. Or at least close to it. Close Tell to us it. about why you're promoting the fact that people should eat Virginia blue catfish. Well, these blue catfish were turned loose as a sport fishery for the game hook and line fishery in the mm -hmm. 60s and 70s in Virginia tidal waters. So they were released on purpose Correct. to try to be something fun is to it, catch. Right, yeah, for the sport fisheries, mm -hmm. a hook and line fishery, and uh, it succeeded in that, and they grew up to be over 100 pounds, as some of the records in the state, mm -hmm. they hook and line. We've seen pictures of people catching these catfish that are enormous. Correct. We don't want to eat those ones? No, we, we try to harvest anywhere from a half a pound yeah. up to about a 30-inch fish. And this is what they look like. And this one of the reasons why you're trying to get people to eat them is because they're non-native, and they are eating everything up in the river. They're eating the same things we want to eat. Our blue crabs, mm -hmm. our striped bass, herring, shad, Menhaden, they're eating things that we want to eat at the state managing controls yeah. and they're reducing the numbers of it. And, and they don't have a natural predator, which is the issue here. So we've Correct. got to step in and like fulfill that part of it. And one of the reasons is like this is actually cut off when you see these in, in the store in the market, but there's these super sharp it's bony got a barbs barb here. and got razor yeah. edges on the side of it. It goes in, it's just like yeah. saw blade trying to pull back but out. But on the inside, tastes pretty good. When that's where you step in. Yes, it is. I mean, this is a, we, we, you've had in the past people approach you and in the chef community and said, uh, can you can you convince people to eat this invasive thing? Right. But this, you're, you're on board with. This was, a, a few in the past, it's been, it, it, at most you're going to get, ah, it's okay. This one is really uh it's easy to sell mm -hmm. because and people hear catfish and you think of the muddy tasting catfish and this isn't like that because they eat, you know they're in salt water they're eating crabs you know uh, we've got now we've got shrimp in the bay too mm -hmm. so they're eating this type of thing and that makes them taste better yeah and they're they're, they're not um, the, the traditional catfish that we think of as like in muddy holes at the bottom mm -hmm. but this is a column feeder it's going up and Feeds down it's opportunistic column. and it's eating whatever so in in terms of uh, um, Eating it as, as we eat it, it, it it's, a, it's a good thing to cook. How can you prepare catfish? Blue catfish, I should say. Blue catfish. Well, today what I'm doing, um, it's very simple. You can fry them. You can make a batter for them and fry them. I just did a simple season, like a, a seafood breader. Uh, we deal with a, a company that uh, mills their own grains and everything. Mm -hmm. This is actually a bloody butcher corn cornmeal. It's a red corn. Oh, and nice. it's really cool, kind of a heritage breed type of thing. Okay. So I've made this up, and all I did was dust it. Yeah, you're nice not, we're not, we don't have like three inches of oil frying here. No, no. But these, because it's a mild fish, mm -hmm. and I'm not a real fan of fishy fish at all. This is, this is nice and mild, so it's really versatile. Um, we actually, uh, <laughs> we're going to do fish tacos today, except for all the ingredients for that are sitting in my refrigerator at home <laughs> back in Gloucester. So, <clears throat> but it's... Um, uh, it's extremely, you know, most of the time you pan fry it yeah. or uh, something. You can't really grill it because it's delicate. Right. But, um, and a quick shout out again for your store, for people that go down to, as they say, the river. Mm -hmm. You're in Gloucester County, yep, your store. Yep, it's, it's uh, called Nuttall Store. Um, it's right outside of Gloucester yeah. Courthouse on Wear Neck. Okay, very cool. So we're going to, do I get to taste some or is there somebody Absolutely. to taste? Absolutely. And tell us, Mike. It is. I mean, it's a white meat. It's firm. It's yeah. flaky. Sweet taste. And like I say, it adheres to what it feeds on. Yeah. And it's feeding on things we want to eat. Yeah. The crabs, the striped bass, and other fish and species. So the state, we've harvested about 5 million pounds this past year. Yeah. But the goal is we can harvest four or five times that. If you were to go with a, a, a big net and, and take like a whole chunk of water out of the fishery spots. Mm -hmm. What percent of the fish in there would be this blue catfish? Some of the rivers in Virginia, the biomass is 80 percent of blue 80%, catfish. 80 percent for people that are watching at home. So this was not a thing years ago, no. and artificially it's taken over. It's an invasive species, um, and it eats everything. And so it, let's it, let's eat it. Let's eat it. That's what we want to do. We want to get it on the menus, get it on the plates, get it in retail stores. And you said you can buy this. You can go to local local lo retail mm -hmm. markets, restaurants. Some are featuring it. And what is the cost of this? Uh, typically, if I buy this, like I at think a steep retail market? supermarkets anywhere from eight to twelve dollars a pound depends mm -hmm. on the market. But it, it, it's a firm, white, sweet taste. It adheres to nice. spices, marinates, rubs very well. Outstanding. And, uh, it's very good. A three-ounce serving only has 70 calories. Right. It's 15 grams of protein in okay. that. 
and only 1% fat. And the idea here is that hopefully we can, uh, if we manage this population, mm -hmm. then that allows some of the native species to continue to thrive and Correct. they'll be available as well. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's going to help the crab population, yeah. the other species of fish that it's eating. I love and, it. Uh, can I take just, this one home with me? You can take that one home with you, <laughs> enjoy it. But what I don't leave a catfish in your car. Trust me, I've learned my lesson on that one. <laughs> yeah. Mike, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Andy. And tell me the name of the full organization again, the Virginia Marine, Marine. Products Board. And we you... promote market seafood for the commercial seafood industry yes. in Virginia. And you're representing a lot of hardworking Virginians. Hard when we appreciate it. Thanks for making thank us you. lunch today. We appreciate it. Blue catfish, they got to go. And we can take care of it by eating them. Hope you have a great lunch, whatever you choose to eat. We're back with more coming up.